Hi, happy National Drink Water Week. My name is Tansy Belkin with Clemson Extension Water Resources. If you're like many South Carolinians, you get your water from a private residential well. The water in that well should be tested each year so that you can stay on top of your water chemistry and make sure that the water you drink is safe to be drinking. You can get your well water tested through a private laboratory or through DHEC's Environmental Affairs Office. If you want to get your water tested through DHEC, all you have to do is go to your county's DHEC office and tell them that you need to test your well water. They'll give you a kit like this one and send you home with it. This kit can let you test for total or fecal coliforms, which tell you if your water is safe to drink or not. If you're new to a house or if you've had a recent flooding event, you might want to get a fecal coliform testing. Your kit should come with these components. A bottle to collect your sample in. It's sterile, so don't touch the inside of the lid. There will be some crystals in the bottom. Leave those in there. Those are part of the sampling process. You'll have a form to fill out, the bottle that it comes in, and directions step-by-step -step on how to. You can get your sample from your kitchen sink or from your well outside, and that's where we're going to start. Here's what many well systems look like in South Carolina. You have your well casing that holds the pump, a pressure tank that controls your water pressure, and many wells have a protective or decorative covers. In this case, this well has a whole house filter as well. The filter in this well needs to be replaced every two to three months. While the cover's off of your well, use this time to inspect for insects like ants or wasps or other animals, rake out any debris that's accumulated, and check your pipe insulation. Replace any that's worn out or torn. When you're ready to collect your sample, remove any hoses, strainers, or aerators from your spigot. Rub or spray the inside of the spigot with isopropyl alcohol or unscented bleach. This sanitizes the spigot and ensures for the best sample results. Open the spigot and allow water to run for five minutes or until the pump turns on. This ensures you're sampling fresh water from the well. Don't adjust the flow of water. I used a bucket to catch water and reduce erosion around my well. I'll use the water elsewhere around the property. Be careful not to touch the inside of the bottle or cap. Do not let the water splash from your hands into the bottle. Remove the cap and fill the bottle to the fill line as indicated and cap immediately. Fill out the enclosed sample form with your name, mailing address, daytime phone number, and the date and time of sample collection. The sample cannot be tested without this information. Take the sample immediately to one of the bottle distribution points, such as a local DHEC public health department or environmental quality control office. A fee of $20 is charged for this test and an invoice will accompany the test results. A total coliform sample must be submitted the same day it's collected so that the sample will arrive at the DHEC laboratory within 30 hours of collection. Samples received more than 30 hours after collection cannot be tested. DHEC accepts samples on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday during normal business hours, but samples are not accepted Thursdays and Fridays or the day before a state holiday. Bacterial testing results usually take two to three weeks to come in the mail. If your results indicate the presence of E. coli, you will be contacted by phone sooner. For more information on well water testing, including how to test for minerals and metals like arsenic, lead, or nitrates, visit scdhec.gov slash well water quality testing services. To learn more about using well water and about residential well maintenance and water quality testing, visit Clemson Extension's Be Well Informed page at clemson.edu backslash extension slash water slash bewellinformed.html.